Welcome to Fishing with Steve D. Well, this is a follow-up video of the biggest red claw in Queensland. Thank you everybody who sent in all the all your photos and all the photos. Uh, check out these red claw, they're huge. Welcome to Fishing with Steve D. Well, the dams come up, the water levels come up, and it's about up about five or six feet. And um, here's my ride for today. We're going out, we're going to check a few pots few crayfish, freshwater crayfish pots, red claw pots. Hi guys, welcome to Fisherman Steve D. Well, we're gonna get, uh, check some uh, red claw pots today, so we're just gonna leave the camera roll and uh, get some footage of that, talk about how we're doing it. So, um, Mark here's just pulled one up. Uh, yeah, how's that? caught these huge red claw at Calai Dam on dried cat food, rock melon and corn. May or caught this huge red claw also in central Queensland. And Scott caught this impressive red claw also in central Queensland. Well done Scott. Scott also caught this second red claw in central Queensland as well. What a fine specimen. Guys, have a look at this next one. It's the biggest red claw I've ever seen. 57 centimeters. What an impressive red claw. Caught by Andrew. Well done, Andrew. You have the biggest red claw in Queensland to date. Welcome to Fishing with Steve D. And what do we do when it's blowing a gale like it is today? And we can't get out fishing. Well, I come and make videos for you guys so we can tell you about the latest and greatest gear and we can teach you how to catch more fish. I'm fishing with Steve D. God bless. Oh yeah, nice. So, here we go. Got some red claw there. Average size, they get a lot bigger than that. So, um, just gonna undo it now. Bucket here, just more in the bucket. Now we cable tie them so that the blinders don't open the fish on the opera house trap. And then we just set them in the bucket. In today's video, we're going to be showing you how to set up your red claw pots ready to set them in the water and catch heaps of red claw crayfish. And we're starting right now. Just wanted to talk about advanced tips for red claw fishing. And if you go to say a hardware store and get some gutter guard you cut them up into strips and you cable tie them to the entrances so this allows the red claw crayfish to walk up into your traps a lot easier and you will catch a lot more red claw crayfish by doing it you just cable tie it and the last picture is just a clip-on 
Theta Bay. And here we Theta. have the good old dog biscuits. Uh, dog biscuits are really good uh, because they stay uh, up to five days, three to five days. So just get your dog biscuits. Uh, the round uh, donut ones are the better ones. And you can buy them in the shops, pretty cheap in the supermarket, guys. And they last up to three to five days. Whereas vegetable uh, content on bait will only last two days. So that's okay if you're doing a weekender. But if you want to come back in five three to four five days you need the dog biscuits we highly recommend the dog biscuits um, are the way to go and then these you buy them in the shops really cheap okay guys here are the uh, there are 70 centimeter round collapsible pots they're catching up to 50 plus at a time two of these pots are about fish 16 red claw opera house traps that is a huge statement guys and they will catch you a lot more and they will last you for ages. They will last you a long, long time. Just swing around and give you a look. This is how flat it, it, it collapses down to. Really, really flat. Now you can stack four, six of them and they'll hardly take up any room at all. And it's got a really good opening here. The struts are really, really strong and uh, they've got the uh, 10 centimeter uh, rings which um, you can have in the or the lakes and impoundments um, however if you're going to do it in rivers you've got to have the smaller entrances so we would need to give you the, uh, the different pots for that so if you want to hear those let me know red claw grow extremely quick reaching 300 grams and around 26 centimeters in only a couple of years red claw live to two to five years why do red claw have one large claw well, the males will use this large claw as weapons to fight off females, or fight for females, fight for food, or burrows. The biggest claw will usually win. Well guys, I hope you really were inspired also with these photos of uh, these huge, huge red claw. Now guys, if you've got any uh, bigger red claw photos send them in guys put them in the comments below and please subscribe and like this video guys I really need your help and support right now until next time God bless